Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop and the new homestead. I've mentioned several times over the last few years um, how much I enjoy the process of making these videos. Not just the actual living of the lifestyle and the construction and the, the canoeing and the hunting and fishing, camping and all that stuff. Obviously I love, love those things, I've been doing them my whole life, but I'm actually enjoying the you know, photography and the you know, filming aspect of it as well, like including learning how to use the equipment and uh, and then the editing so spending t my downtime is kind of my relaxation time my rest um, spending time at the computer doing the editing of the videos so anyway the entire process is something i enjoy um, i'm learning a lot about the equipment of course that i'm using along all the way through that process um, as you if you've followed along since last year you know my my uh, canon equip uh, camera equipment was stolen so I ended up replacing that with um, Sony mirrorless equipment. So I'm filming these videos on uh, Sony um, A7 something cameras. But anyway, what I'm here to talk about today is the drone. So the drone footage is something I, I also really enjoy. It's really interesting not only to watch it afterwards, and I'm sure you enjoyed seeing the scenes from a different perspective, but the actual capturing of that as well. I'm standing in a forest like this, all you can see or I can see is what's around me and you get a drone up in the air and just seeing a different perspective seeing the topography in the lakes and streams and rivers and everything it's I find that interesting as I'm standing there using the thing uh, but it is really stressful using drones because they can have a mind of their own now I don't use drones anywhere around people um, fortunately I'm in places that I don't have to worry about that um, so I'm not around buildings typically, but I am around open water a lot. So flying a drone, expensive drone, over open water is uh, it's kind of stressful because they sometimes do have a mind on their own and they tend to crash occasionally. I've had a number of crashes, probably three or four over the years, maybe, maybe more than that. And generally the damage is not too great. So. If, couple of times had them hang up in trees and then finally fall and I was even able to catch them a couple of times. A couple of crashes, actually a couple of crashes that my wife uh, experienced too where she was filming me canoeing and the thing took off uh, or got um, hit by a gust of wind and thrown into the trees. Anyway, this is my turn this time to crash the drone. I was trying to capture that amazing misty day and as I, you know, got it above me only about, I don't know, 60 feet in the air probably above me it uh, lost signal because there's so much moisture in the air and it just took off and in order to just stop it i just pushed down on both the uh, controllers uh, the joysticks on the controller and i could hear it crashing in the trees and i uh, had a general idea i didn't think it was very far so i thought i'll just go find it me and cali walked around um, the thing was still running the camera was on it was upside down i could see in the snow and I thought, well, I'll just do walk a grid pattern in the area that I think it's in and stare at the screen on my, my phone and see if I can see me or Callie walking past it. Well, it spent about an hour looking for it, never did find it. And then the snow started melting, uh, so I knew it was going to be a little bit more challenging. But anyway, my wife came back with me and we did a grid pattern. She was able to figure out by looking at the camera or looking at the flight log approximately how far it went so I kind of paced that off and ended up walking right up to it but this time rather than just a couple of minor adjustments or uh, you know simple fixes like propellers typically would break in that situation this <laughs> the arms broke completely so I, I could see in the footage it came down into the trees crashed through the branches then I it lost signal briefly and then fell to the ground upside down so I guess as it was going through those branches, it was getting tossed around. Broke one propeller off and broke two of the arms that hold the propellers. So that's got to be sent away along with the other, our older drone. So it's going to take a couple of weeks well, or more to get that back. So I'll have to figure something out what to do in the meantime. But anyway, that's why I haven't had great drone footage in the last couple of videos. So that's just one of the challenges I have trying to capture the uh, footage that you see in these videos and at this time of year I have more challenges with batteries freezing and 
variable weather, especially now when we're transitioning from fall to winter and we get warm days, so some rain, but a lot of moisture in the camera and the lens, and then cold days that kill the battery fast. So a little bit more challenging now. But like I said, I really enjoy the process. Anyway, I thought you might be interested to hear that. Um, I'm gonna get back to work. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more about the gear that I use here and, and while I'm filming, you can click on um, the uh, playlist in the top left hand corner of the screen or if you just want to watch the next video in the series, the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the cabin next time. Take care.